In today's video, we are going to provide some helpful tips for you to maximize your visit to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. To experience the rise of the Resistance, Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run, and a lot more within Disneyland Park in California. This will be a day long remembered. On opening day on January 17th, 2020, all boarding passes for the Rise of the Resistance attraction were distributed within one minute of gate opening. No! But we are going to show you how to have a chance at getting one. So in the future, you will know what to do and you can be prepared. You want this, don't you? It's time for you to experience the latest attraction from Walt Disney Imagineering. Star Wars Rise of the Resistance is the most amazing, immersive experience you have ever seen in any theme park attraction anywhere. Unfortunately, everyone wants to enjoy this attraction too. How can you obtain this most elusive boarding pass granting access to the attraction? What now? Before you enlist with Resistance, there are some critical things you need to know before you load your entire family into your shuttle and speed down to the Disneyland Resort. Clark, I don't like the look of this neighborhood. Come on, Ellen. It's important for the kids to witness the plight of the rebellion. Kids, you noticing all this plight? Roll them up. Boarding passes will be distributed on a first-come, first-served basis. However, they distribute so fast that the only way to acquire one is exclusively through the Disneyland app. The paper boarding passes available at various kiosks throughout the park have been temporarily disabled due to the popularity of the Disneyland app access. Make sure to download and install the free Disneyland app onto your mobile device at home before you arrive to the parks. While you're at it, also download and install the Disney Play app onto your mobile device too. Don't forget to pack your own power brick and power cable to keep your mobile device charged. You will need the power to check your boarding times throughout the entire day. Fuel rods are available in park but are very expensive. Bring your own power and save those credits. It is important to note that camping overnight or arriving very early will not increase your odds in getting a boarding pass. Focus on the park's scheduled opening time and have your entire party inside the gate and be mobile ready on the Disneyland app at Rope Drop. The parks will allow you inside Main Street USA early to use the restrooms, shop, or grab a coffee. If some of your party is running late, you will not be able to add them to your boarding group later, so make sure everyone in your party is inside the park gate and one person has scanned your entire party's admission tickets into the app. Be ready to request a boarding pass the exact moment the park opens. There are a couple of factors that could improve speed and performance while thousands of guests around you are frantically trying to gain a boarding pass. Try removing yourself from a large crowd of data users. Look at the service bars on your phone and pick an open area with the best cellular service. Refreshing the screen may not work as well as stepping back to the previous screen. Click on the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge Rise of the Resistance info page and click the Find Out More button. Then immediately click the Join Boarding Group button. If this button is red, click on it immediately to get a boarding pass for your party. Any delay during this process will increase your boarding group number or worse. If the Join Boarding Group button is gray, this sadly means that the boarding passes for the entire day have been distributed. Depending on park attendance at the time, you may only have a few seconds to react to get your boarding pass. Timing and luck are critical. In my experience, there's no such thing as luck. If you follow these tips, you should receive a boarding pass with a number from 1 to 110. These boarding passes allow your group to enter the attraction queue in order, beginning with boarding group 1 and ending with later boarding groups. You could also be placed in a standby boarding group but be advised that all the previous boarding groups get priority access to the attraction. Depending on any operation difficulties that could occur during the day, high-numbered boarding passes around 100 and standby boarding passes are not guaranteed to ride. If you are lucky, you might get called to ride just before park closing. As your boarding pass becomes active, you should receive a push notification on your device letting you know to return. Make sure you allow notifications. Your boarding pass will only be valid for two hours once it has been activated. Plan accordingly and return to the attraction before your boarding pass expires. 
Your boarding pass will allow your group to enter the attraction queue one time only, so make sure your entire group is together before entering. Throughout the park, you will find monitor kiosks that will display boarding pass returns times with active boarding group numbers. Check in with these stations or check the My Status and Access page within the Disneyland app. Be advised that for the first few weeks, this attraction will be extremely popular and very difficult to gain access. It is best to plan ahead with alternate plans to make your visit fun if you do not receive a boarding pass. Due to its popularity, ride capacity, and unforeseeable outages, you may not be able to experience this attraction on the day of your visit. Consider this and be nice to the cast who operate and reside in Galaxy's Edge. If you happen to be in the attraction and the ride goes down, you may be evacuated and given a fast pass to return once the attraction becomes operational again. Once you're inside the attraction, it is very important to listen and follow all the instructions. Doing so will improve ride capacity and allow more guests to experience the ride. There may come a time where you will be asked to stand on a color. It is very important that your group remembers this color. You will use this color to determine seating placement in the ride vehicle. The attraction is designed for 360 degree viewing. There are no bad seats, so head to your vehicle row indicated by your color and move all the way in before being seated and quickly buckle your safety belt. It's about this time where you are probably thinking, damn, this is going to be difficult. And you wouldn't be wrong. But with these tips and hints, you are increasing your chances to edge out lots of guests who do not know what to do. As they say, the early bird gets the worm, or in this case, the early porg gets to board. Even if you have received a boarding pass or not, you will want to have the rest of your day planned so you can get the most out of your admission ticket. Reservations for Oga's Cantina, Savi's Workshop, and the Droid Depot can be made up to 60 days in advance of your visit and can be made within the Disneyland app. Inside Oga's Cantina, we invite the adults to try the Fuzzy Tauntaun with its signature Buzz Foam. Your younglings will enjoy the Java Juice with blueberry popping pearls made from this guy. Try it without ice or grab a straw to slurp them out of the tall glass. We don't recommend any of the food options here, but the souvenir mugs are worth it. Annual pass and cast member discounts apply only to non-alcoholic beverages and do not include the souvenir mugs. Want to impress your friends? Pay your way through Galaxy's Edge with real credits. The Batuan Spira is the ancient currency of Black Spire Outpost and can be purchased at the Droid Depot or Resistance Supply. These awesome gift card keepsakes are sold initially in a $100 amount, but can be reloaded in $20 increments. These are perfect to toss into your server's payment cup or slap onto the counter at Ronto Roasters. These can be used for purchase at any Disney location on or off world and will gain you instant notoriety. Speaking of food, I highly recommend the Ronto Morning Wrap at Ronto Roasters. This breakfast sausage and egg wrap is warm, tasty, and filling. A nice option that is only available until 10 a.m. At Docky Bay 7, try the Batuan Beef Pot Roast paired with a mouffe juice and an oi oi puff for dessert. At Katsaka's Kettle, do try the chocolate popcorn with crate red salt. Offworlders say it tastes like Cocoa Puffs. While you are there, stock up on Coca-Cola products disguised as thermal detonators. Last but not least, try the new Toydaria Swirl at the milk stand featuring green milk with swirls of savory chili lime seasoning and mango jelly. While in Galaxy's Edge, Chewbacca, Rey, Vi Marathi, Stormtroopers, and Kylo Ren may walk by and interact with you. I invite you to interact with them to produce fun results. <laughs> A lightsaber. Interesting. If there's one Jedi left, it's not you. Affirmative. <laughs> Even R2-D2 may wander the outskirts of the marketplace. Take a selfie and have fun. But remember, these characters are likely on a mission and can only stop to share a brief moment before moving along. For a longer encounter, check out Star Wars Launch Bay for additional meet and greet opportunities. Don't forget to check out the marketplace where you can adopt a creature or purchase local toys or games. Or you can try on a cloak or other fine garments. Be careful though, you could drop a ton of credits in this area. 
For inexpensive fun, I suggest the Chance Cubes or a deck of Sabak playing cards to take home with you. While you are on Batu, take advantage of the PhotoPass photographers that are scattered about. Inquire about the Special Techniques photos. When you get home, you can preview all of your photos. It's fun and free to preview. You can also ask them to take photos for you using your data pad. Speaking of data pads, expand your fun with Disney Play app. Earn virtual credits from Hondo Anaka and use them to purchase in-game items like avatars and more. And now you can complete special achievements by riding Rise of the Resistance, Smuggler's Run, and more. Doing so allows access to purchase exclusive Disney Play Galaxy's Edge pins. The Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run attraction will also be available with minimal wait times, about 35 minutes to one hour. If you use the single rider option, you can often ride immediately in most cases. If your travels allow you to stay in the evening, marvel at the spires and stay for the fireworks on select nights. These are weather permitting, and it's always a great way to end the day. Hey guys, here we are at the Rise of the Resistance at Disneyland, California. We are walking through the queue right now, so we'll let you know how it is in just a few moments. Okay, take this corridor to the turbo list, then head down to the escape pod base. Those droids are programmed to return you to Batu. Hurry and don't get caught. Lieutenant Beck will guide you. Recruits, for your safety, stay seated with seatbelts securely fastened. Keep hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the transport and supervise your children. <laughs> Tell them it's a prisoner transfer. <laughs> Did it work? Good. Now get a move on. There's a clear path to the turbo lifts at the end of the hallway. Turn right. <laughs> You're lucky it didn't spot you. Take those turbo lifts and stay out of trouble. Close, don't you? 
shots came in a little off target. Ground crews will meet you outside the wreck. Nice job, recruits. Not what you signed on for, but hey, you resist us now. I think I have that authority. Right, Beck? Where's the lieutenant? I need eyes on Beck. Line up. Scaffers, Park Beacon. Hey. Lieutenant Beck. Yeah. Beck! You're alive! I should hope so. Great job, recruits. Thanks to your heroism, the location of the resistance base is secure. Bravo! <laughs> Well, I think that this is almost everything I wanted to cover. I hope you found this video fun and informative. What is your favorite food item in Galaxy's Edge? Let me know in the comments section down below. If you can do me a favor and subscribe so I can reach my 1000 goal, I would really appreciate it. I would like to keep doing these videos, so please support this channel by helping us out. If you want to check out my other content, try one of these links here. Thanks and ignite the spark. And remember, if you aren't having any fun, it's your own fault.